you. We've got Shams on. Okay, we get it. You're busy, Shams. We get it. You're scooping. We understand. We'll be back. What a treat. Right now, we have lead NBA insider for the Athletic NBA. He's on a new show right here on FanDuel TV. Uh, he gets it earlier than I do. It's called Run It Back. It's Sham Sharania. Hey, Shams. Okay, what's going on? Congrats on your show. First of all, you were the first kind of one to start all this. So major congrats to you. And uh, I'm, I've been excited to keep along with what you've been up to as well. Yeah, the, uh, I'm the sacrificial lamb over here. We're both from Chicago. We'll get into that. We've got a couple of minutes here. How is the show so far? I know you only, you've only done a couple episodes, right? Yeah, we, so we've done three so far. Nice. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I'm joined with Michelle Beadle, who's just amazing as a host, longtime uh, host on all various different yeah. uh, outlets. Chandler Parsons, uh, longtime NBA player. Now he's on the other side in retirement. He's trying the media game out, doing a great job. And as well as Eddie Gonzalez, who's kind of a behind the scenes guy on camera. All right. uh, he does a podcast with Kevin Durant and myself. So I think it's a good blend of analysis, inside information, and, and just really uh, just just conversations every single morning, Monday to, does, uh, to Wednesday. How does one become an insider? Like you went to New Trier, we get it, New Trier, Bougie McBouge over there in Chicago. You I did your did, homework. You I, did your homework. I took the L downtown to go to Whitney Young for free all those years. That's what I did. I lived in Chicago. But about, but uh, I want to talk to you about what it, like you don't go to school, you don't go to New Trier and then college and say like, I'm going to be an NBA insider. How did you do that? So I grew up in Rogers Park, lived there for, for a few years, and then my family moved more uh, up north, Skokie, Wilmette, nice. Glenview, that, that kind of area. Went to New Church High School. And so for me, I loved playing basketball my whole life. And once I got cut in high school, it was like I had to figure out what I was going to do next. I wasn't going to be Michael Jordan and make it to the NBA <laughs> after getting cut in high school. So I had to figure out what my path was. I loved writing. I loved basketball. And I just combined my passions. I never thought I'd be on there. Never, never thought I'd be on with you. So I'm glad to be on and doing all this. And I always had kind of a thirst for what's going on behind the scenes. And so for me, I feel like I'm living out my dream every single day. What's like the biggest moment in your life? Because it takes you away from everything. It's 24-7. Like your phone has to be in your hand, like literally. What, was it like a wedding, a birthday? Like when you get, have to get pulled away because you're like, excuse me, I have to deal with this. I mean, everything you could think of. It's happened at weddings. It's happened at family dinners. It's happened at, you know, my mom's birthday. It's, it's <laughs> happened at all times. Thankfully, family understands. You know, it's, it's, it's very often, you know, when if you're on a date or if you're, you know, yeah. in a classroom. Like for me, going, going to college at Loyola Chicago, you know, I would leave class for 15, 20 minutes at a time. And then everyone would <gasps> kind of look at me weird when I come back into in class. Like, what was this guy doing? Did he just like leave campus and then come back? So... Uh, that part was interesting when it's like outsiders, quote unquote, but I think my inner circle kind of understands. They're like, my, is he Superman? Is he Peter Parker leaving and then coming back? <laughs> that is crazy. And I can't imagine being on a date and being like, sorry, babe, Dwight Howard. Yeah, Dwight Howard's going to the Atlanta Hawks, babe. But yeah, get, get the extra, get the, uh, get the item on there. It's happened before. What a and flex. I did not get a second, I, I did not get a second date, but it has happened. <laughs> I actually left for like 30 minutes, uh, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. It is I would it be is. like, this is the man of my dreams. I love this man. And you've broken the <laughs> Those kind of stories. You did break Dwight Howard, uh, a, a former U.S. president, officially contracting COVID. Like you, that's yeah. We, I, we don't I, don't, have to talk. I don't know. I don't know how much I want to speak on that one. It was crazy when I when I put that tweet out. I was actually in the bubble. This is the most I've ever kind of spoken on that. But I was in the bubble uh, in 2020, and I was like, when is Secret Service going to start knocking on my door? Like, did I do something I wasn't supposed to do? So I kind of just put that out there. It was like one in the morning, and went back to sleep. So that was my night. Is that your biggest scoop? Uh, I don't know. I feel like the next one's always the biggest. Um, kind of the one that, for me, I, I would say really started, I think, a lot was when I broke Luol Deng getting traded from the Bulls to the Cavs in January 2014. I think that was kind of, you know, the moment where the door opened a little bit, and then it was, what what was I going to do when, yeah. the, when, you know, when the door opened? And so um, that was a fun one. Um, obviously, everything that happened in 2020, just because everyone didn't know what was going on, so to be able to provide information throughout that year was was cool as well. And and very vital for, for me and my job, something I never thought I'd be doing. Yeah. Um, so for me, the next one's always the biggest. Shams, will you come back? I really want to get more into this. This is so inside. Like, I think you're, you, I want you to write a book, honestly. But not <laughs> until we get some of that stuff. Uh, quickly, quickly, I need an NBA team. I'm, you know, Bulls, whatever. Give me an NBA team I should root for. 
Yeah, so I'm sure you're already big on the Bulls, and Zach Levine's out. Big win last night. DeMar DeRozan's playing well. But to me, the underdog to root for, the Pelicans. And I know, you know Pat McAfee, our friend, big Pelicans guy, big Zion guy. So I, if I'm you, I'm rooting for the Pelicans. Do you like, the, do you like football? Uh, I mean, I play fantasy. Uh, I, I used to like football a lot more and baseball, but I'm more of a basketball Okay, we, guy. we have to have you back. Shams, on Run It Back, watch it right here on FanDuel TV. You are awesome. Go Chicago and go Pelicans. I'm into it. That's my team. Team of record. That's my squad.